Hi, I'm Jeremy and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. And today's question was sent in anonymously, which was, Jeremy, tell us your favorite wine story. And um, it, it's a kind of a funny one. And I have, I, have, I, have, I have a bunch, but this one is particularly memorable because it involved um, a beautiful woman and a beautiful bottle of wine. And I'm not going to get into any kind of romantic anything. But uh, way, 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 way back after I graduated college, I worked in the commercial insurance industry. And uh, the, the agency uh, that I worked at was almost entirely men. If it wasn't, uh, well, if it was a woman, uh, they weren't particularly attractive, except for one woman, and she will remain nameless. But she was a, a flight attendant who was on strike from TWA, and she was not dead gorgeous. She was, she was one of the, I mean, she was, she was beautiful, she was tall, she was funny, and she was smart. And of course, every time she walked across the office, uh, she, she, everybody stops. And she was nice, too. So one day I'm walking out of work, and there she is. And she says, uh, would you like a ride home? And I, didn't know, I didn't know people drove in New York, but she had her car there. And I said, sure, why not? Uh, and we're in the car, and she starts explaining how she had just broken up with her boyfriend. She said, would I like to come over for dinner? I said, sounds great. I would love to come over for dinner. So uh, at the time, she lived in the um, uh, 72nd Street uh, boat basin on a houseboat. And uh, that was very unusual in its own right. And she invites me on the boat. And she, um, she says, I'm going to make you dinner. And she says, I was saving this bottle for a special occasion uh, with my boyfriend. And uh, since I, he's no longer my boyfriend, why don't we drink it? And she pulls out a bottle of Opus One, which, uh, for you who know, is, is one of the more important American wines made. Uh, it was a collaboration between the Rothschild family and the Mondavi family to make uh, what some people might, I don't know, the first cult wine, but one of the first most important sought after American Cabernets made, uh, uh, obviously in this country, Opus One. It was a beautiful label with the silhouettes of both the winemakers in a kind of a scribbly fashion. So there I am sitting on this houseboat with this beautiful woman and this beautiful wine, and I'm swirling it around in a big glass like this, and as I'm sitting there, and she's talking about something, um, I hear a and it was a boat going by. And, and boats cause wakes. And our houseboat started to rock. And I'm looking at the wine, and I'm looking at the woman, and I start to feel nauseous. And she turns around, and she says, you look terrible. And I was this close from barfing, and I had to immediately get up on deck to get my composure and to get some fresh air. And at which point she decided that maybe tonight wasn't such a good idea after all. And I assured her I was fine, but she decided otherwise. And I guess, you know, drank the rest of the wine by herself. I didn't even get to try it. But uh, yeah, that was a funny one. And so why don't you uh, send in your, your funny or not so funny wine stories and uh, we'll recount them here on the show, and, uh, and uh, we'll cite you, and uh, hopefully maybe we'll make a book out of funny wine stories. So that was my story. And keep sending in your stories and questions to Tell Me Wine TV.